So this is a frontier that we've really just discovered, a new continent. Yeah, well, for 30 years I've been talking about the so-called mind-body connection, but now we can actually see it visually. We're going to talk about mother and, ch mm -hmm. and child now because you said that this is the one that forms the template of connections for other connections. How you can see that happening, mm -hmm. you can see it in the brain happening. Well, either the mother and baby act through uh, blood and hormones uh, because, you know, during gestation it's the same body, so everything that's happening in the mother's body is transferred. But let's say when the mother is breastfeeding, or even when she thinks of her baby, or when she, when she hears him cry, uh, or when she feels love for the baby, suddenly the pituitary secretes oxytocin, and this is the hormone that causes bonding, emotional bonding. But this emotional bonding then, of course, structures the brain structure and becomes the template for the emotional life of this adult that will surface 20 years later. I learned what I had suspected that every experience that we have, not only as babies but as adults, every experience actually shapes the very structure of our brain and in turn our body. Our body is an end product of experience. As the, some poet said, we are all that we have met. We are every encounter we've had, every grave we've knelt at, every book we've read has been metabolized into this biology. And you can see this, and you can see what the alternative, which is stress, does to a baby? Yes, stress is also causes a surge of adrenaline in the mother's uh, system. It raises cortisol, which is an enzyme that lowers immune, immunity. But see, we've studied stress for 30 years. Only now we're beginning to study the opposite. What happens when you're happy? Happiness also has biological consequences. Uh, euphoria has biological consequences. Love is probably the most important experience we can possibly have. It shapes the anatomy of the brain. It structures self-repair mechanisms. It shapes the activity of the immune system. You know, for thousands of years, people have said love is the most important force in the universe. Well, we can see that it is really the most important experience we can have, and it has biological consequences that shape our life, not only in infancy, but when we grow up.